In this segment we're going to have a look at how we add hyperlinks to a document and we'll be working with the visitor guide practice file which you can find in the chapter 12 folder. Now you'll see here down at the bottom we've got a, a web link here. Now we want to uh, select and highlight this web link. Now first of all what is a hyperlink? Now a hyperlink ordinarily is a link to a website but in Word can also be used as a link to another document so let's have a look at both. Under the insert tab on the ribbon you'll see hyperlink in the links section so click on that. Now by default this is telling us that the address we're going to link to is this web address and uh, if that isn't the web address that you want you can retype the, uh, the web address uh, to uh, to be whatever it is that you would like it to be. But what we want is to link to another document in the practice files. Now here we can see the chapter 12 folder here and we want to click on the conductors file and you'll see we now have a link to this conductors uh, document here. Now at the top of this window it's asking us what text it is we want to display this is the text that will appear in the document instead of the text that's currently there so we want to say a series of outstanding conductors and when we press the OK button you'll see that that text has changed and it is now underlined and highlighted and if you mouse over it you'll see that there is a link there and it will tell you the location of the file that you want to link to. Now we have the word email so if we highlight that word we want to press the hyperlink button again this time we want to put in an email link so here in the left hand pane we want to select email address and we will select the uh, email address uh, margie at margie's travel Dot com. We can also type a subject for uh, the email if we want to. Inquiry from uh, document. And here in the top right there is a screen tip. Now this will be uh, a, uh, a tool tip that will appear when we hover over the text. So for instance I'll say email about bookings as the screen tip and press OK. Now we've got the email address, we've got the subject, and if we hover over that now, we'll see the little tooltip has appeared saying email about bookings. So that's how we add hyperlinks to a document, and in the next segment we're going to have a look at how we insert fields. Now that we've looked at inserting hyperlinks into a document, let's have a look at inserting something called fields. And for this uh, exercise we'll be using the Procedures Fields practice document which you'll find in the Chapter 12 folder. Now first of all, what are fields? Fields are uh, information that, uh, they're, they're, they're pointers to information that you can add into a document that will be dynamically updated. If we go down to uh, the bottom here of the second page, we will see we have a, uh, a footer here. Okay, so if we double click on that, we can edit the footer, and the header and footer tools have appeared in uh, the uh, uh, in the ribbon here. Now we want to select this date. Now what we want is to have a date here that will automatically update and be the date when the document is open. Now here uh, we have a time and date button and this will insert the standard time and date but if we go to the insert tab then we can click on quick parts here on the ribbon and select field because the date that's inserted at the moment is just static and uh, you can see it's uh, 11th of May 2010 and uh, it's not going to change. If we want it to change we'll click on these fields and here we can select date and we can uh, select a, a different date format. Let's say we want 10th December uh, 
2010 here and uh, we can press OK when we're ready. Now, not only has that changed the date, but as I've said, this date will automatically update in the future. So if you open it tomorrow, it'll say 11th of December 2010. Now we want to click on the Design tab on the ribbon again under the head, Header and Footer Tools and press the Close Header and Footer button when we're done. And now we have our new footer on the document there. Let's just have another quick look at these fields and you can have a look at some of them. Uh, there's all, all sorts of um, information here such as the uh, author and uh, there's uh, the file name the file size, you may find the information about the inserting the file name extremely useful in uh, especially in some business uh, circumstances we had uh, page uh, page numbering and all sorts of uh, information such as symbols titles, time and so on. So that's how we insert fields into a document and in the next section we're going to look at bookmarks and cross-references. Now that we've looked at adding hyperlinks and fields into documents, let's have a look at adding bookmarks and cross-references. And for this exercise we'll be using the Rules Bookmarks practice file which you can find in the Chapter 12 folder. So first things first, what are bookmarks and cross-references? Well, bookmarks in Word are exactly the same as bookmarks are in an ordinary book. Uh, they are place marks to help you find uh, information within books that you want uh, easily and simply. Cross-references allow you to quickly uh, move readers to another part in the document that may be relevant to what they're reading um, at the time. Let's have a look at each. Now, first of all, we want to go to page 5 in the document. so. Under the Home tab we want to click the little down arrow next to Find the far right and select Go To and say we want to go to page number 5. So here we are on page number 5. Now we're going to create a couple of bookmarks here. One next to Building Maintenance and uh, under the Insert tab if we click next to Building Maintenance we can uh, click Bookmark and here we'll call this Maintenance press the add button when you're ready. So that's now bookmarked even though you can't see it. There's uh, some bulleted text uh, below this in section 10.3 and we want to highlight this and create another bookmark for this text here. So again we'll press the bookmark button on the ribbon and we'll call this one limited common and we'll press the add button and that's now bookmarked as well. So how do we use bookmarks and find them? Well, let's press Control Home on the keyboard and go back to the beginning of the document. We want to go back to the Home tab on the ribbon as well, and from the Find uh, Control on the far right of the ribbon, uh, we want to press the down arrow and select Go To. Well now, rather than say we want to go to Page something, we want to go to Bookmark, and there's a, a list of bookmarks here, Maintenance or Limited Common, and we can say we want to go to Limited Common, so we'll select go to and immediately not only are we there but that text is highlighted as well. Now let's have a look at uh, cross references. What we want to do is we want to go uh, up in the document to page 2 and uh, we can either scroll up and down or we can do go to page 2 and there we are straight away. Now, in uh, the uh, uh, storage section here we want to uh, look at paragraph 4.2 and we want to insert a couple of text off, uh, 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 spaces after that and say see also and here we can insert a cross reference to another part of the text under the insert tab uh, just below where it says bookmark we want to select cross reference so we'll click on that now there are all sorts of cross references here but we want um, to uh, refer to a heading in the document other ones are bookmarks, footnotes 
uh, equations, figures, tables, which uh, you may find very useful, and so on. So we want a heading. And we want to select parking and vehicles. So we'll press the insert button and you'll see that parking and vehicles has appeared here in the text. So we'll uh, press close and uh, that um, reference is now uh, is now in there. And uh, you'll see here if we hover over it, um, hover over that text, it tells us to press control and click and it immediately jumps straight to the relevant part in the document. So that's bookmarks and cross-references. And in the next section we're going to look at reference tools for longer documents.